hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is sampathi watching sampath sam fx youtube channel and this is me 11x or the redmi k40 or the poco f3 guys have flashed this uh pixel os uh, latest version that too with november security patch you can guys can see and android version is 14 and if you press and hold here as you can see there is raining kind of effect you are getting in the android 14 it will get to this game actually as you can see little bit difficult to play as of now but this is the android 14 version pixel os for mi 11x or redmi k40 or the poco f3 the best band version also you can see and the kernel user is 4.19.29 nexus alias version 24 is the kernel user and this is the november 10th latest build guys this have been using from couple of days now let's see what all the benefits we get from this rom and how smooth it is and what all the benchmark results and how is the battery life will 33 4 watt fast charging supported or not everything will be uh, explained in this video stay tuned till the end of the video guys and by the way if you first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like and let's begin this video First, let's start with the home screen itself. If you press and hold here, you get wallpaper and style. Let me press that. You get uh, different types of lock screen. Let me show you in the screen. As you can see, this is how the lock screen looks like. We'll do one thing. Use the fingerprint unlock. Yeah, it's not recognized. Yeah. Use pattern. Okay. Now, let's see once again the fingerprint unlock. Yeah, that's working fine. Okay. This is the patterns you get here. As you can see, that's the only visual change you can see. Already I explained in many of the videos. If you are first time watching this video, go and check out some other Android 14 based ROMs. There were even ported ROMs and this is a stable one guys. This is a Pixel OS. And in the home screen, you get these kind of things. Before that, let me show you this uh, lock screen customization plus this color you can change here. And even the intensity also you can adjust once you select the color. For example, it's yellow. Now you can adjust the intensity of it and the size also you can make it smaller like this or if you want to dynamic or the bigger one you can do it from here more wallpapers you get again plenty of wallpapers minerals this is the android 14 kind of wallpapers guys you should definitely use them they look really good in my opinion and the other uh, emoji workshop is still given you can manually make a wallpaper and use it as a daily wallpaper shortcuts again you get these kind of options here if you want you can do that left and right shortcuts you can assign them show notifications on the lock screen if you don't want that you can disable that more lock screen options again you get plenty of customization this is a uh, clean ui experience you get again if i press and hold here you get a widgets option useful info at your fingertips just allow it battery widget it'll be getting here a calendar chrome widgets and clock definitely you get all this kind of different widgets available in android 14 you can place on the home screen home settings again this is an pixel launcher you get all the basic necessary ops options at a glance again you get plenty of options if you want you can disable them if you don't want to get any of these things in the home screen as of now currently it's showing just temperature and the time and uh, date this is how the typical home screen this is the app drawer you can see this is the uh new uh change what i noticed once you swipe yeah this is how you get the visual change here and i also using this echo battery results and even i charge the smartphone you can see the results on the screen guys and in the edit section you won't get any new things here just similar to what we get previously it remains same here let me decrease a little bit of brightness it's too bright and it's transparent here uh this is how the home screen typically you get a uh, good thing is i get a nx camera support here with leica integration wow what a good thing that to android 14 pixel kind of build guys isn't a cool thing yeah echo battery i already explained to you and to benchmark results we'll see it takes a little bit of time to open seven ten apps but it's quick enough in my opinion seven lakh seventy five thousand one hundred and eighty eight is the benchmark results in the end two i got and temperature raise was 1.8 degrees celsius and four percentage of battery has been dropped during this entire testing of this and to benchmark result in this mi 11x after flashing the pixel OS. the scores are excellent in my opinion uh once you flash you guys can have the same 
Now moving into some of the other scores, you get this kind of file manager. We'll do one that uh, screenshots here. Yeah. I'll start with this Geekbench score. 1143 is the single score and 300 and sorry, 3201 is the multi score. Again, it's an Android 14 build. Linux 4.19.29 on Nexus LH version 24 kernel. Uh, motherboard recognized as Kona, but it is applicable for both Alioth and Alioth in as I am using this. And there's the themed icons if you want, you can enable them some of them are still not applying it's still in beta guys but hope so they fix that in upcoming some of the security patches builds also let's see fingers crossed and other settings like cpu throttle interest have run for 100 threat test guys for 15 seconds this is the result what i got minimum is 232 average is 271 and maximum is around 319 million jps and it's throttled to 78 percent of its max performance there is hardly any uh, red line only one i can see but actual day-to-day -day performance i haven't faced any lag in the ur any stutter that kind of things i haven't noticed it's a very smooth and smooth experience ua but it's not a pixel experience this is a pixel os guys uh, drm information again you get level one certified no need to worry regarding that watching OTT applications is not a problem here you can watch it in high definition resolution again the save this uh save tenant results also everything get passed you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay you know sba whatever you want to use you can use it guys if you want to root your smartphone also you can hide those apps and use the payment applications that's not going to be any problem people ask me it again and again they don't know how to uh, utilize routing also but this is not a rooted one what i flashed right now but if you want you can do that's what i am saying in this uh video and fly files manager you get both ones if you don't want a app you can disable one of them this one i think we can disable yeah why we want two of them i don't know in upcoming build they can fix this it's a small bug but they need to fix it out and moving into settings let me close that yeah anything else calculator camera settings yeah that's it we'll move into settings nothing new here there's a quick settings panel it's very very smooth as you can see the response in the ua is next level once you flash you will come to know that in the edit section you get all these extra options as of now i think so dolby atmos is not included in this room hope so they will add in the upcoming build but sync option is given here that's how it is we'll go into settings and show some of the other settings apps again it remains same app battery usage you can check out individual apps you can optimize restrict everything you can do it from here a special app access again you get plenty of options here you go through one by one once you flash this room you'll come to know some of the important core aspects of android 14 based on linux uh, kernel this is default apps assistant you can opt from here and battery i really like the uh, thermal profiles has been included what i really like is the battery percentage as you can see the battery life is quite interesting here even though it's an android 14 and very very smooth ui i still like the battery life in this particular room which is going to be a great experience here uh, once you flash that you will come to know k profiles has been given modes are also given battery widget is given let me show that modes what all we get performance balance and battery none this really good in my opinion in the pixel kind of xp i mean this kind of voice you are getting those options sound and vibration again you get plenty of options just we are going to miss that uh, dolby atmos but me sound enhancer is given even hi-fi audio system is also missing here Def uh, display settings again you get dark theme use pitch black theme is also given which is my personal favorite they should give this option because uh it looks something like a uh, gray or anything like that but anyhow this is very good they have included in the rom display size and text let me increase this yeah now it's quite good i think so yeah it all up on your usage yes whatever you want you can make it out using the display settings again um that's it icon manager you get individually you can select them battery again always show percentage show percentage when charging don't show the icon time also you get little bit of customization and also they have a uh, different aspect here which i really like it in this particular rom ambient display again 
you get plenty of options here too that is very necessary because this is an amulet display and we also don't have any led indicator then you need to use the ambient display dc dimming is given if you want to reduce the eye strain you can use that high brightness mode these options you just don't use it because it will drain the battery and make display a little bit hotter but if you want to use a little bit for five ten minutes you can enable them accessibility menu again that's an uh, color and motion you get options talk back features and select to speak you can check out once you flash this extra dim feature is also given and magnification in certain apps it will work accessibility menu again it's a handy feature guys without actually pressing the volume up and down you can increase or decrease the volume and some of the other things also you can access from here hence it is known as accessibility menu shortcut timing control system controls vibration and haptics for individual settings you can enable or disable also you can adjust the intensity from here live caption option is also given it will be useful caption preferences again audio description flash notifications also given camera flash yellow flash audio adjustment you can adjust left or right i mean the stereo experience you can control from here wallpaper and style i already explained this is a visual change you get secure and privacy you just get that fingerprint unlock i already shown again as you can see it's very very quick in this android 14 based rom looks good no issues found yes of course i'm also feeling the same location you get everything is working google maps are working digital well-being and parental controls as you can see here also you get latest version here in the system into the gesture into gesture navigation you get these kind of options nothing great here you can hide the gesture navigation bar too if you want to go back to traditional three button navigation you can do that also you get those two options and swipe to screenshot is also given which is cool thing as you can see one handed mode i have to enable that maybe is it there yeah one handed mode is also given as you can see just the one handed mode everything is working fine even the split screen if i use this one yeah select this uh, split screen and use the uh, this one we'll see yeah it's going to work like this i really like the smoothness as you can see even split screen everything is working as smooth as what you can expect in the pixel kind of roms guys that i really like it and quickly open camera some of the gesture settings you can enable or disable even system update is given i don't recommend to use it you should manually flash it guys and i use the recommended firmware i always use the global firmware use the same guys in order to get better experience uh, internet connected device i haven't faced any issues as of now and 5g is working fine use the latest firmware if you're not getting 5g and also check out your area if it is 5g covered or not and if you're using geo and airtel conclude that it is having 5g coverage in your area uh, that's it face unlock is still missing here uh, cp throttling the results everything i explained we'll see the uh, bgma gameplay how it handles and what all the graphic settings we get guys a uh, good thing is you get smooth plus 60 just not 90 but uh, even 60 is also fine as you can see the graphics and settings will apply the settings here extreme okay yeah yeah we'll collect guns and see will i get any kill or not oh uh, let me know in the comment section guys will i get early kill or not this how the experience you get in the pixel os uh, we'll see how it handles but if you play in the classic matches might feel a little bit of choppy uh, because of 60 fps but i found this is really smooth here uh, hope so you also find a similar gameplay once you flash this rom yeah we'll come back here this is the pixel os available for me 11x or redmi k40 or the poco f3 guys this is my review on this particular rom if you have any specific questions uh, join the whatsapp group available for poco f3 or the me 11x or the redmi k40 guys and also if you have any specific questions ask down in the comment section we'll meet you with another interesting video until that take care bye bye guys we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now